We finally did the big move. We went from 2,000 square feet to less than 400 square feet, and it took us six weeks. And if you want to see how, keep watching. So today is moving day, and we've been trying to do it for weeks, but life happens. Joe had to work, and then we actually went out of town to Lake Chelan for a company party get together. Joe, I don't know when he's gonna get home and I'm heading to a party and we're moving. So stay tuned, <laughs> see if we ever get out and move into the little lamb. Going off road, moving from 2000 square foot house to our motor home. And this is a good example of how much stuff people have they just don't use. I mean, it's an interesting and weird and depressing and freeing feeling all at the same time. It's an interesting concept. It's weird, isn't it? What we actually need is very little. Very little. We wear right? the same shirts. We wear the same pants, same shoes. Like as consumers, we like options. We like right? options. Like we like space. We like trinkets. We like, we like shit. Put your cute little cowboy hat on. Are we gonna take this? Well, I mean, that's the thing, right? I mean, so this is what we're trying to, I guess, get across to people is like, you know, we bought that for Bug in Montana and she's adorable in it. It's like, do we have room for it? I mean, that's it's the like, thing. like the option that maybe I wanna look cute in a hat one day. Then here's the other thing, memories attached to things. Yeah. Like that black shirt, you know, my little kind of cowboy shirt thing there's a, some great memories buggy and i had in that but it's just different times now it is i mean there was a time where bug and i lived in a 600 square foot apartment and everything we owned fit into a ford edge everything we owned and it was and we were just as happy as we are today so it's like we just got to get back to basics we're, we're trying to share this with be people because yeah. it's very rare that you actually have to like completely downsize to the bare absolute basics. I'm going from 30 pairs of pants to three. I still got six pairs of jeans. But you're the bug. Your jeans, that equals my three pairs. Your, your <laughs> buggy's teeny. And then the biggest thing we don't need is the F and T. I mean, how much space does a T take up? Should we keep the Jeep? All right, well, I think that's enough for them to see. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of what we're doing, right? I mean, it's just that it's a process. And then maybe we'll re-talk to you guys when we get back in the garage. That will be like, oh my God, can I let go of that stuff? Ah! Now, we're in the hardest part for me. We are in the garage. We are getting rid of a ton of stuff. So we've already gone around the corner that's behind the bug. So we're, <laughs> we're keeping the, the welder. welder. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just tough. You just collect a bunch of crap, you know we what I mean? 1-800 junk coming tomorrow. So we need to make piles of what we want to keep, what we want to go to the trash, and then what we want 1-800 junk to pick up. So piles, we're making piles. We are making piles. The best thing I can tell people out of this is minimize people, minimize. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are officially in the motorhome and we got Bug doing a little repair over here. The one thing I, the, the thing I don't like about this is the, the big slide here, the sink moves with it. So obviously the drain's gotta be like accordion. So we're investigating a little bit, it's leaking. All right, that's not good. That is not good. So yeah, it's broken back in there. I mean. Just broke both I mean, it's ends. Broken, broken big time. And it's on that sliding rail right there. Up top there. Yeah, see that? And that's supposed to slide back and forth when the slide comes in and out. So hey guys, so, ooh, you can hear the echo. The acoustics aren't that great. But, uh, so we are living full time in the RV in the driveway of the home that we just moved out of. So we're, we're plugged in using an extension cord um, from the front porch. So we're having to do a little bit of back and forth. So I'm cooking dinner inside the house tonight. We can't use everything. So we're having a few hiccups with the move, but we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We're, we're making it work. We'll make it work. So we're in the driveway, but we've got 
uh, the garage since the house is off limits. Yeah. So this is our life, a little back and forth, but did a little Trader Joe's fettuccine Alfredo grilled chicken. I love this. It is fantastic. Okay, we got Bug. Now, now, now you're live. So that you touch them handles, you're going. We are here at our new home site with the excavator to dig a trench to put some conduit down for power and water to run 50 amp service to our motorhome. Good job, Buggy. Thanks, Vivi. How you doing, Bug? You getting her? Getting her done. You getting her done, Bug. Best excavator view ever. It is final day of the official move-in. Well, we've been in the lamb for, what, a week now, Bug? So what we got going on is the truck's over there. We got the final dump load. And then this yeah. stuff is all going in the dump trailer. It's loading up all our garage stuff. So that's kind of where we're at today. Yeah. Here we are at the cool. dump. Look at the bug. You know, Bug, she should just an animal, aren't you? There you oh, you almost got me. <laughs> this is the fun part. We sold the white Jeep and the new owner had it towed away. So for, for those of you that are Patreons, y'all have seen what happened to this Jeep when we took it to the secret trail a few months ago, but it is not running. And where we are headed with our motorhome, they do not want non-running vehicles. That'll work. So now we're going to get the goat and use the winch and pull Clyde yeah. up on the trailer. And there's the boot. It's a boot. He comes home and he still has to work. Oh, man. I love it. I'm with the bug. We just dropped off uh, our daughter's XJ at the shop. We drowned him. John's going to CPR him. Today is moving day, and it's gloomy. It's rain, 100% chance of rain today. And then the water and 50 amp service is still not ready for us, but they need to sell this house. We gotta get out. We have stayed as long as we can. <laughs> we gotta go. Rainy day, moving day. Is it today? I don't know. It's gotta be. Let's go. So it's official, guys. It is moving day. Joe is behind the wheel. All right, he's turned around. Guys, I can't believe it. It's moving day. What do you think, T? T don't give a shit. I will follow behind. And we got the walkie-talkies. In case anything goes crazy. So we just put the slides out at our new home. Like there's our view out the bedroom window. Not too shabby. Too All right, shabby. let's put it back together. Right. We're home. Right, our get... seventh and final move. Yep. This concludes oh. this chapter of our life. The last move we will ever do. In Washington. In Washington. But I mean, think about it now. It's like, no matter what happens, like our home, 100% paid for, everything we have owned is in it. Anything that we can just turn a key, go anywhere we want. Wow. Zombies happen, we're out. Wow. Mount Rainier blows, blows, we're out. We're out. You know what I mean? Politics get too crazy. Well, oh, it's already there. We're out. We're out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's it. We're gonna just last little cleanup and we're done. Yeah. That's it. Back to it. All right. We did it. Thanks for watching.